morning, or hello, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to the workbench. Today we're going to be just uh, painting some sleepers on my latest project layout, which is uh, called Colbridge Street. I suppose the third part of the uh, Ponte du Lice trilogy. Ah, of course, I've got magnets under the track. <laughs> And they're now hidden by this cork. I'd forgotten about that. Right, I hadn't connected the uh, the dots. I'm just reaching over for a uh, a paintbrush just to to gently stir. I use umbral enamels, as I've used them for my whole life, um, since childhood. I like the way they they cover compared to working with acrylics. And uh, readily available in model shops is always a good thing. Um, this shade here, number 72, sadly discontinued in the enamel range. Really, really disappointed. Uh, about that, I, I love it. It's a great shade for scenic work and um, weathering. It's still in the acrylic range, but that's no use to me. So if anyone spots a Humble 72 enamel Timlet in their local model shop, buy it and get in touch and I'll happily uh, take it off your hands. Something about this ritual, isn't there? Popping open the tin lid, checking the contents, making sure the paint's still in good health, and then giving it a mix. Noise of the paintbrush handle rubbing against the metal of the tin. That's fast, but not frantic like where my mind is at probably right now looking forward to uh, to getting lost with uh, with the, the task in hand put a few drops on my takeaway popcorn palette now that number 64 I got out a minute ago that appeared to have dried up, so let's have a, have a look. See if I've got another one, or at least another suitable colour over here. It's, uh, I'm filming within the con confines of my uh, my Cameo model railway here. It's, it's quite tight um, with the vertical clearance, so it's going to have to uh, bear with me for a second. Um, just trying to work out the best way of getting going with this. So I'm going to put my... There we go. So... Here you can see we've got our three shades that are already beginning to mix together. I'll pick some of this one up and we'll just, we'll just make a start. I'm painting. 
painting sleepers is one of my favourite jobs. It's the start of the, the track finishing pro process itself, the start of the scenic process. Um, it's that opportunity to to become at one with what we're doing, isn't it? And uh, get lost in in the craft. I've said this before. I've talked about this before. We talk about you know unwinding from our busy lives, our days, our worries, and we talk about how the craft gives us that opportunity to to get lost. And uh, I reflected on that, and I wrote about it on my blog. And, um, but actually, it's not really about getting lost. It's more about becoming... Oh, uh, it sounds a bit daft, but it's more about being found. You're finding yourself again, aren't you? So we're not getting lost because, you know, we enjoy that feeling of being helpless. We're falling back on familiar techniques and craft. We are uh, um, brush picks up the colour and moves it around, and, and what we're creating. It's a, that chance to sort of empty your mind, isn't it? Through that process, we don't get lost. We actually, we actually reconnect. We find ourselves again. So, rather than, you know, painting sleepers to get lost, I'm painting sleepers to, be, to become calm. But being relaxed is not the aim. It's just a moment of quiet, of reflection. I've chosen these three colours here today because uh, this layout is set in New England in in the autumn, and I wanted a sort of um, a paler palette on on a lot of the on a lot of the surfaces. Um, you know, if you go and look at telegraph poles or fence posts in this country, you know, they're, they're a good approximation of how old railroad ties um, weather, because, you know, over, over the years, the creosotas, you know, that's been impregnated in them when they were new, sort of fades away and you just get left this lovely grey silvering uh, wood. So if you use Humble 72 on its own, it's too warm. Um, but if you don't use it, it doesn't feel like wood. It's funny, actual humbrel wood is is far too, you know, fresh cut really uh, for this sort of thing. So I quite like this sort of process of blending these shades together. Um, and that's looking all right, that. Listening to the brush. Trying to be deliberate in my thoughts. And if we find our minds wandering onto the things that we're worrying about, it's not being sort of critical of ourselves or thinking, gosh, I'm, I'm really not doing very well at this. It's just acknowledging what we're thinking about, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. I'm worrying about money or I'm worrying about that project or I'm worrying about, you know, that person. 
person in my life who who's important to me. You know, it's these are just things that we're feeling. We we shouldn't be trying to get rid of the feelings. Craft and the art of the model making like this. It's yeah, it's nice to see the end result, but the opportunity to become up at peace and at uh, at one with it is a is it that wonderful gift, that wonderful opportunity to. Um, to become more in touch with how we're feeling, notice what we're thinking, perhaps the sensations in our body if we're aching, you know. Hmm. This is starting to feel just as I wanted. And in our home, we've just taken on a new puppy. And, uh, you know that's uh, that's a full on <laughs> a full on activity. As any of you out there, are dog people, will uh, will recognise. And um, I feel a bit like I've stolen this moment, uh, this chance to come and spend it painting sleepers. I'm not guilty. Acknowledging the opportunity and. Uh, and how lucky I am to be able to do it. As I'm painting my way down this line of sleepers, I'm imagining Obviously, hopefully no trains around. Imagining, you know, walking, walking, stepping on these in the yard. And the leaves, those autumn leaves, how they're looking, blowing around. Collecting on, on the ballast itself, up against the sides of the rails even. I suppose the story I'm looking forward to tell as this scene begins to come to life in the coming, coming months. I noticed I'm getting a bit frustrated actually right now by that tapping of the, the brush. The brush handle is just a touch too long and it's catching on the on the lid as I move from side to side and I just noticed I'm getting frustrated with that. There's no need to get frustrated with this. It's interesting, isn't it? Just to kind of pause and reflect on what's going on inside and why we're feeling the way we are about things. And, well, not even why, just noticing, sorry. Noticing why we're, how we're feeling. Not necessarily worrying about why. Not in this moment, anyway. It's funny how these repetitive tasks, these tasks that are the repeating the same actions over and over, are the best for this experience of being calm in a way that uh, you know isn't possible. With, you know, painting or weathering a model, and it's not quite the same thing. There we go again. It's like the ticking of the clock, isn't it? I wonder what's catching my attention is the fact that it's not um, it's not following a pattern. But it's maybe to you watching this and in thinking about your own work, it, it is.
I'm sure there's you, plenty of you out there who are thinking, seems a very tedious way to, to finish your track. But why would you pass up the opportunity to, to be in this space? To be calm and to be quiet. Conscious of feelings and emotions, both physical and emotional. So I just I came into this feeling, as I say, oh with this puppy, slightly agitated and frustrated and you know, puppies don't do what you want and do a lot of things you don't want and they cause a lot of anxiety and worry on top of everything else that we have to contend with in life. You know, why do we do these things, kids and dogs and you know, we've got both here. <laughs> but I've pondered doing this for a few days now and I'm really, really glad I've I've actually just taken some time to to do this today. You know, not just because it's that first step and that exciting um, moment where you start to see, you know, this individual treatment of sleep has really lifts the final finish, but it's more than that, it's, uh, it's been what it is, a really nice calm place to be. being here. I think next time I'm going to choose a shorter paintbrush. Now I do like being here and I, and I do hope that um, by joining me today it's given you perhaps a fresh outlook on the way to approach some aspects of our hobby. I mean we can think about how being present, acknowledging but not worrying about how we're feeling and we can bring that into all parts of our lives but these moments where we're doing something more tactile i think it's a good way of connecting between the motion and uh, of our hands and, and our brain i don't know there must be some kind of wiring connection which gives us that opportunity to have a deeper experience um one that Just helps us understand a bit more about who we are. You know, and I've been painting sleepers here today. But, you know, you could be ballasting, as I've done previously in other videos. Um, you know, you could be making trees, as I think I've done as well. <laughs> um, you could be weathering a set of, you know, a rake of wagons or something where it's a consistent thing again and again and again. You know, it's that repetitive motion, I think, with the tactile task. Um, allows your brain to wander around but also gives you the opportunity to to catch that when it's happening to just recognize it and acknowledge it and just be aware of it i'm really pleased with that so if you've enjoyed this little interlude today uh, there's similar ones on the channel a uh, slower approach to things and some of the or intense layout reviews or, or operating videos. Um, if you've got ideas for things that perhaps I could do or I could talk about, I'm happy to uh, to entertain those. Leave them as comments. Thanks for for watching today, and uh, enjoy your modelling.